keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. Hey, what's going on? I'm down here at the beach. Look at that. Still some snow way up on the ski hills there. So I was just gonna have a lazy day down here at the beach, but uh, it turns out that uh, there's a bunch of RVs uh, on the other side of Vancouver who are getting towed by the city. So uh, one of my viewers sent me the pictures and said, you might find this interesting. So I'm gonna take a gander down there and see what's going on. Size school bus, no doubt it's targeted. A pink RV. Ooh, there's a cool van turned into a fifth wheel hauler. Yeah, but that's highly illegal. That was jacks on the streets. I mean, this is gonna attract a lot of attention, obviously. There's a big chimney as a wood stove. All right. Well, it looks uh, it looks pretty quiet down here right now. Um, as you can see, there's some oversized vehicles there. A lot of them are up on wood blocks and jacks and things like that. So it's clear they haven't moved for a while. Um, and this is, of course, what happens uh, is that a business is nearby um, looking for parking, and they uh, they get upset that all the parking's taken by these these uh, large vehicles that obviously have not not moved for quite a while. And um, the city of Vancouver has a 6.4 meter maximum length bylaw for vehicles. Uh, that's 21 feet. And this is actually very common in many, many major cities across Canada and USA. Uh, they ha I've heard from uh, a lot of my viewers down south that some cities are even 20 feet maximum. But what that means for this city, for Vancouver, the 21 foot 6.4 meter law bylaw um, states that uh, any vehicle over that length can only park on city streets for up to three hours maximum. That's anywhere in the entire city, whether there's signs or not, three hours is the limit, but it's only enforced by complaint. So if someone has to complain and then uh, they send bylaw offers, officers down and they actually bring meter sticks with them and measure how long your vehicle is. Not just bumper to bumper, they'll, they'll count bicycles and spare tires and things attached to your vehicle as well. Make sure Now, just to give you an idea, even a full-size sprinter van is longer than 21 feet, 6.4 uh, four meters. So uh, they can be ticketed and towed as well. So it's something to really keep in mind. Now, you've all heard me on this channel many, many times tell you to move around, move around. Well, it's even more important if you have a vehicle that's over length. Uh, all it takes is one person to complain. It could be any business around here. It could be anybody. And um, you're, you're gone. They come and they measure your vehicle and go, look, he's over 6.4 meters. Bring in the tow trucks. And then when you get back, your house is gone. So uh, again, I'm not ragging on people that, uh, you know, leave their vehicles here and all that. I mean, I mean, everybody's got their own stories. Who knows? I don't even know. Uh, maybe the guy's vehicle wasn't running or maybe it wasn't insured too. I mean, there's all sorts of things it could be and I don't want to jump to conclusions, but uh, I'm just telling you from experience, I've been doing this for a long time and over a decade ago, the city really, really went crazy uh, towing oversized vehicles, people living in school buses, things like that. And I see it starting to come back again to be that way because there's a lot of people that are just leaving their vehicles and never moving them. The problem is clustering. They all cluster in the same place in the same few blocks and uh, it draws a lot of attention. Now, if, if everybody spread out a little more, it'd be less of a problem, but uh, I hope it doesn't uh, continue, but I'm gonna hang around here and see if the tow trucks come back and uh, maybe I'll uh, have a little chat with them if they do. So, the moral of the story here. <laughs> Those people are getting ticketed and towed down in a commercial semi-industrial area. Nowhere near a beach or a park. Nowhere near where people live. And look where I am now. The beach, the mountains, downtown. 
and 20 and 30 million dollar homes all behind my van. Yet I never get ticketed or towed. So you all know why I've said it millions of times because I'll be here now. Maybe I'll stay tonight. Maybe I won't, but I definitely won't be here by the morning. That's how you do it. If you're going to set up on a city street, put jacks underneath your vehicle or wood blocks or um, a tarps on your roof and have stuff sitting outside on the sidewalk. I mean, it doesn't matter where you park. You could be in the worst part of town. You're still going to get hassled by the city eventually. And that's what's happening. Another, another rule to follow is don't cluster. What I see is a lot of people will be driving around in their RVs and vans going, where should I park tonight? Where should I park tonight? And then they see, uh, they see some other RVs and they go, oh, I should park here because other people are. But that's exactly the opposite of what you should do. If you see other people parked on the same block, you should stay the hell away from that because once you get more than two or three, it just attracts all sorts of attention. And this, <laughs> it, you know, I've been in so many places where you'll get 10 RVs all parked in a row, but there's like, 10 blocks of empty streets all around where those RVs are parked. Well, why don't they spread out? One R maybe one RV on each block. But if you all park in the exact same spot, don't whine when the city comes and tickets you. Don't whine when you get towed. You basically might, might as well launch fireworks off the roof of your RV to attract attention to yourself because that's what you're doing. So uh, generally I drive around and if I see too many RVs parked there, generally, not always, but generally, I will go find somewhere else to park away from the other RVs even if it's in a completely different neighborhood. And that's why I get away with this. And I have for 17 years. So you can sit there and say, oh, Justin, you know, you shouldn't be telling us what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I do and why I don't get ticketed and don't get towed. It's simple as that. You do whatever the hell you want to do, but don't whine about it if you get ticketed and you get towed because it's no one's fault, but I'm not even going to say it. Keep on rocking in the free world. Watching Justin Wanna see more? Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new, just incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash jcredtv and keep on rocking in the free world.